What is up, YouTube and the We Want Funko Army? This is yours truly, the life of the party, the party monster. You guys are watching another episode of We Want Funko, the channel that puts the fun back in Funko. And we're finally here, guys. This is the big video, the collection video, as suggested by Savage the Man. So you thank you, you for giving me this idea. It's also really something I kind of wanted to do. It's just how I was going to get it together was a different beast in itself. But, finally got it together, it took a couple of weeks, and as you guys are going to see, I'm going to be switching clothes throughout the video, because it took a lot of time to get this video together, and I have an uncle that snores extremely loud, so I was only able to film certain times of the day, and with my work schedule being what it is, it wasn't always convenient, but somehow I powered through it, and it got it done, so it's here, and... Again, thank you guys so much for the support. It's crazy to think this time last year, I knew I wanted to start a Funko channel, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, what I was going to call it, and now we're here. We want Funko. I love the We Want Funko Army. I appreciate you guys so much, and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, without further ado, here's my collection. Kicking things off, we have the 10-inch Niffler that I got from TargetCon last year. I'm convinced this thing's going to give me nightmares. I'm going to wake up one day and see this face just staring at me, and yeah, it's not going to be a good day. A very recent pickup, the Target exclusive Captain Marvel from TargetCon. The Target exclusive Michael Jordan. The common Captain Marvel. Just got this on Pokemon Day, Bulbasaur. Next up, we have the Hot Topic exclusive Death in the Family Joker. The Hot Topic exclusive Captain Marvel. The Superman and Flash 2-pack. The most expensive pop in my collection, the Superman Chrome 3-pack. Found this one at a random Walgreens, Scarlet Spider-Man. Chrome Iron Man. Such a hard pop to find, Brave Little Taylor Mickey. Random fun fact, I used to love watching I Love Lucy. I love Sugar Skull, so of course I've had to collect the Hot Topic exclusive Sugar Skull Jack Skellington. Black Lady. Okay guys, so I've never seen an episode of Riverdale, but I had to pick up the Josie McCoy pop. Let me know in the comments section, does this have to do with, with a tie-in to Josie and the Pussycats? Because her name is Josie and she's dressed like a pussycat. Snowman Jack Skellington. Glow in the dark, moaning myrtle. Next up we have the Mark I Iron Man. Classic Ant-Man. Nearly Headless Nick. Chrome Groot. Loreline. Steamboat Willie Mickey, my favorite out of the classic Mickey collection, Apprentice Mickey, Super Conan O'Brien, Xavier Woods, Chrome Artemis, Show, Booker DeWitt, from one of my favorite movies and pop series from 2018, we have the Corn Line Doll, Ken, Kazulia, 8-Bit Fix-It Felix, Professor Quill, Hot Topic Exclusive Translucent Parcival Electra. Very new pickup. We have the Wayne and Garth Wayne's World 2 pack. My very first chase, Luke Skywalker. Target Exclusive 10 inch Scrooge McDuck. Target Exclusive Classic 10 inch Mickey Mouse. Box Lunch Exclusive Glow Chase Zero. Was definitely a must have. The Pizza Planet Truck from Toy Story. Box Lunch Exclusive Limited Glow Chase Dr. Facilier. If you guys saw my vlog video on this one, you guys know I went through a lot to get this pop. Next up, we have Killer Frost, one of the coolest looking pops in my collection. The only criticism I have on it is the fact that the ice doesn't glow in her hands. That would have made this pop way cooler. Next up, we have Bobby Brady, the pop I care the least about in my collection. I actually got this randomly in a mystery box. Next up, we have Kelly Bundy. This is actually the other pop that was in that mystery box. I actually kind of like this one, but it wasn't one that I necessarily wanted to own in my collection. From Rick and Morty, we have Cornphilius, Clockberg Jr., better known as Gearhead. I love Rick and Morty. Had to have this one in the collection. I actually got it last year at Target Con. Fugitive Predator. Next up, we have the Target Con exclusive Prince Akeem in his Mac Arnold outfit. I loved Coming to America. I watched it a million times, so I definitely had to have this one in the collection. Next up, we have Sweeper Bot. Next up, we have Marty McFly in his concert outfit. I actually got a couple of these, so I actually might do a giveaway in a future video. Super Saiyan Goku, Chrome Hawk, my first ever pickup from Big Pop Shop, Little Sebastian. 
Eddie from It, Zahn. Pudgy Pig, Skeeter Valentine, got really lucky on this one because this was the last one at my local FYE. Okay guys, so we gotta talk about this one for a second. First of all, we have Oogie Boogie, and I love The Nightmare for Christmas. But I am so surprised Funko made this one into a pop because this is probably one of the most disturbing scenes out of that entire movie. And mind you, it was a kid's movie. Still a cool pop nonetheless. The Comma Craze exclusive Colossus. One of my favorite pops that you guys haven't seen yet. The Doctor Strange Ghost Rider LA Comic Con exclusive. My first chase of 2019, Woody Woodpecker. Chrome Gamora. Mint Berry Crunch. Without question, the most damaged box in my collection, the Unmasked Corva. But in second place in the beat up box composition, we have Cheerleader Deadpool. One of last week's pickups, we have the Glow in the Dark Target Con exclusive Darth Vader. Coraline in pajamas. Hermione with sorting hat. Coraline in raincoat. FYA exclusive Chrome Fugitive Predator. I can't say enough how lucky I was to get this one. Great Ape Vegeta. Supergirl. I have never seen an episode of Doctor Who in my life, so sorry in advance if I mess up this name, but we have the Glow in the Dark Vasta Norda. This is Groot. Twinkie the Kid. Spider Woman. Chrome Thor. The Target Exclusive Tenet Dino Ultrazord. From Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, we have the Kanagi Twins 2-Pack. From it, we have Beverly Marsh. Don Breaker Batman. Slay for You, Britney Spears. FY Exclusive Carol Danvers. Totally in love with this pop. The Chase Captain Marvel. Chrome Thanos. From Overwatch, we have Junkrat. Soldier 76. Assaultron. Waddles, Peggy Bundy, the Iron Giant. I swear I didn't realize how cool the backdrop on this pop looked until just now. From Hocus Pocus, we have Mary Sanderson. Next up, we have Sarah Sanderson. And of course, I had to complete the collection, and this was actually the hardest one to find of the three witches. Winnie Sanderson. Next up, we have my pickup from yesterday. It's the 10 inch Target Exclusive. Toothless. Next up we have Chrome Loki. Next up we have Blitz and Chips Rick. Not a pop, but I thought it looked really cool and wanted to throw it in anyway. We have my Captain Crunch Chase Pez. My favorite pop in my collection, the Coraline and Raincoat Chase. Extremely lucky to find this one. We have the Hot Topic exclusive Leatherface Chase. Hot Topic exclusive SSGSS Vegeta. FYE exclusive Chrome Rocket Raccoon. Chrome Surrey. The Jan Brady George Glass 2-Pack, Conan O'Brien. Got really lucky and found this one at a Best Buy. Straight off the upside down, we have Eleven with Egos Chase. I've only seen one episode of the show, but for Mr. Robot, we have Elliot Mass. Also for Mr. Robot, Darlene. Next up, we have Baloo the Bear. And to show you guys how much I love Baloo, here's a baby picture of me at Disney World with Baloo. Love this bear as a kid. Had to have My it. first ever ad icon, Bob's Big Boy. Next up, you have the Target exclusive Al Bundy in his Pork Hill jersey. White Tiger Zord. Found this one in the random pop hunt. We have Chase Sentient Arm Morty. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you already know the story behind this pop. We have the GameStop exclusive Mega Vault. Next up, we have a pop I never thought I would own, let alone have two of. We have the Chase Twinkie the Kid. The hardest one to find out of the entire Coraline series. Coraline with cat. Mr. Bobinski with mouth. No need to feel thunderstruck. Because I'm a huge ACDC fan, I had to have the Chase Angus Young. One of the coolest pops I owned because it actually got me a job at Hot Topic. We have Hot Topic Girl. Next up we have Chase King Dice. And this one's actually really special because it was actually the first time I ever got two chases in one day. This actually came minutes after I picked up the core line chase. Colonel Sanders. And yes, I do happen to love KFC. Wreck-It Ralph. I kid you not, my first time seeing this pop was like 10 minutes ago, right before I started filming. It is the Box Lunch exclusive Chrome Star Lord Ghost. I am sorry in advance, Game of Thrones fans, because I don't watch the show, so if I mispronounce their name, it is not intentional. But first off, we have Alina Tywell. Next up, we have the 
Box Lunch Earth Day exclusive Wale with plant. And the cool thing about this pop is the fact that they actually used recyclable paper to make the box. That's really From dope. From How to Train Your Dragons, we have Night Lights. Next up, we have Glow in the Dark Reinhardt. Box Lunch exclusive Army Man. From Nightmare Before Christmas, we have Dr. Finkenstein. Firefighter Mickey. Holding it down for my Bob's Burger collection, we have the Box Lunch exclusive Louise Belcher. From Alter Beast, we have the Rare Gold Werewolf. Straight out of Hawkins, we have the Billy and Karen 2-pack. Chrome Black Widow. One of the coolest pops I ever got out of a mystery box, Darkwing Duck. From my Big Pop Shop mystery box, Naruto 6-pack. Classic Wonder Woman. Chrome Iron Man. Target exclusive, Target Lady, the GOAT himself, LeBron James, Gyro Attack Mega Man, Sher Khan, Target exclusive, Monica with turkey on head, one of my most recent pickups from Emerald City Comic Con, Classic Thor, Chase Berlin, Chase Tokyo, Arya Stark, from Captain Marvel, Korath, Dragon Force, my favorite pickup from the ECCC, Paranga, Elizabeth Keen, Lurch, Angela Moss, Angela Moss, Mitch Buchanan. Next up from the newest Ghostbusters, we have Aaron Gilbert. My first glow-in-the-dark pop and probably my favorite version of The Flash that I own. We have the Entertainment Earth exclusive The Flash, Lady Justice, Vibe, Daryl Ward, Hot Topic exclusive, Wreck-It Ralph, Halloween Comic Fest, Star Lord, one of the sickest looking pops in my collection, Venomized Hulk, Western Rick, Western Morty, Kofi Mania baby, hopefully as I'm recording this, you're either watching it before he hits Wrestlemania for the championship or after the fact and hopefully he has won it. But anyway, still a cool pop, I am a huge Kofi Kingston fan and a huge fan of New Day as well. Had to have F Y E exclusive Michael Myers. Conductor Mickey. He's not dead. He's just sleeping. Dead Yanchi. Black Canary. Aguilar in crouching position. Funny story behind this pop is the fact that I actually picked it up at a Goodwill last year on vacation. From the New Day, we have Big E. Agent 13. I swear, every time I look at a Marvel pop or a comic book pop in general, it makes me think how much I can't wait to see Endgame. Huey. You'll float too. Georgie. Sorrento. H. Freddy. Bree Mode. Bree Bella. Artemis. Valkyrie. Irock. Sixer. Officer K. Summer. They're all gonna laugh at you. Carrie. The Other Mother. Valerinan. Edith Cushing. Scarlet Witch. The Spartan Cheerleaders 2-pack. Walgreens exclusive Invisible Man. This is a cool pop, but I definitely want to find the chase one day. From Ghostbusters, we have Gertrude Eldridge. Zon with Hot Sauce. I love the detail on this one. Minimized Iron Man. And in case you guys couldn't tell, I was in love with the movie Ready Player One. We have Parcival. Samir and Michael Bolton 2-pack. Straight out of Hogwarts, we have the Weasley Family 3-pack. Jen Urso. Here's Johnny. Jack Torrance Chase, Dato, Target exclusive 10 inch Pikachu, this one took a lot of work to get but I'm so happy to have it in my collection. One of my earlier pop pickups, Superman Soldier, Hot Topic exclusive Jen Urso, Nina Williams, Psylocke, Joey Ramone, from League of Legends we have Lee Sin, from League of Legends we have Lee Sin, Ramona Flowers, Kate Austin, Niffler, Percival Graves. Okay guys, so I want to slow it down a little bit and show you guys these two pops at the same time because they both have a very special place in my heart. The day I actually came up with my channel, We Want Funko, the channel you guys are watching right here, right now, is actually the day I picked these two up. I was actually leaving the Travis Scott show and I know I wanted to have a channel based off of the acronym WWF because I am a huge wrestling fan. And... Something just clicked in my head, and We Want Funko just kind of came to mind. So, ran with it, and the rest is history. But, once I crossed the street and went to the local Walgreens that was right there, I actually found these two, spider Hand and spider Hawk. So, again, had to show you guys these two together because they both have a very special place in my heart. From Suicide Squad, Rick Flagg, 
David Nix, Kate Diaz, Shehawk, and this is actually the second pop that I ever bought. Amphibian Man Chase. Okay guys, so conspicuous by its absence, we have the common Leatherface. I have no idea where it is, but just know that I own it. You've seen it in other videos, so yeah. Of course, my favorite character from Five Nights at Freddy's, Foxy. From Orphan Black, a show I have never watched, we have Allison Hendricks, CJ Parker, Dolores, Jake Portman. Hey, look at me! He's Mr. Meeseeks. FY exclusive, Chun Li. From one of my favorite comedies of all time, 21 Jump Street, we have Jinko. Gwenpool, the most disappointing pop I have in my possession because I could have waited and could have gotten it on sale. But regardless, we have Cece. Barrick Dondarian. Conan O'Brien, the pop that cost me my employee discounted Hot Topic. Chase Jasmine. Chase Betty Boop and Pudgy. GameStop exclusive. Glow Chase Mega Vault. Chase Monica. Chase Darth Vader. GameStop exclusive Roy. The pop that probably encompasses what this channel is all about because it was back during the good old WWF days. Not this watered down WWE nonsense, but back in the good old Attitude Era. One of my favorite pops that I own. We have Chase Vince McMahon. GameStop exclusive Chase Mac. Feed me Seymour. Chase Audrey the second a very recent pickup Chase Goose Flurkin. Okay guys, so I wanted to end this collection video with the very first pop that I ever picked up It's actually the pop that started my love of Funko Pops Superman if you guys didn't know this about me. I am a huge Superman fan and this will probably be the pop that was the most sentimental of value to me because this is the one that started it all and yeah, you guys can see it is not in the best condition. The box is all kinds of beaten up, but at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter to me because I am in love with this pop. It started my love of Funko, and I definitely treasure it. So, definitely wanted to end this video with where it all started. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for my collection. I just showed you guys every pop that I own right now. It took a lot of time and effort to get this video together, so huge thank you to my grandmother because she was extremely patient as I was filming this over the last couple of weeks or so. Like, literally, as I'm talking to you guys right now, my entire collection is literally in our living room just chilling, which I will eventually be building a whole little setup, in which I will take you guys through the process of putting that together, so look forward to that in videos to come, but yeah... Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me so far. I hardly appreciate it, and I'm definitely working on new things, and hopefully you guys are pumped up because I'm excited to show you guys what I've been working on. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely share it with a friend, and if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at WeWantFunko. Anyways, guys, until the next one, remember, let the good times roll. Peace.